If you've ever played in a band, taken an art class, or even completed a renovation around your home, then you know how empowering arts and creativity can be. Which is why the Stroke Recovery Association of BC puts on an annual event where stroke survivors can showcase their creative passions. Vancouver's Grant Hardy spoke with a couple of the artists involved and found out more about how art played a key role in their stroke recovery. This is a painting that I did. It's a Van Gogh. Van Gogh replica. Performer, writer, and painter Jacques Lalonde is a man of many talents, but in 2013, his professional ambitions were put on hold when he suffered a stroke and lost the use of his right arm. However, his creativity couldn't be held back. I almost knew I was going to write this play, Stroke of Luck, while I was in the hospital. Uh, when I was recovering, the act of actually writing down the story <laughs> was really, really good exercise. I mean, I've got some of the writing from the original times and it's, it's almost illegible. The play came to the attention of the Stroke Recovery Association of BC, which asked Jacques to perform the play for stroke recovery programs across the province. Well, these recovery associations provide a safe place where you can meet with lots of other people that are going through the same kinds of things, same kind of struggles. Jacques believes that Art After Stroke is an invaluable program and is essential for stroke recovery. I started singing in a choir again. I felt more comfortable because I was surrounded by all these voices. And then slowly but surely my voice started coming back. And now I can sing not too bad. Right? And for a while it was like disastrous. You would not want to hear me sing. And as an artist, um, to be able to share what might have been pain for me to turn it into something good makes me feel really valuable in, in the community. So you're just here, but you're just here by the love for something good. Off the wall. Jacques is co-host of the annual Art After Stroke fundraiser, where people recovering from strokes showcase their work. Now we have to decide if we win, is it legit? Some people may have been artists prior to have, having, having had the stroke and then uh, be, be rediscovering the art afterwards in a slightly different way. But some people actually never were artists before they had the stroke. And then they discover that art is very therapeutic and that it is healing. Uh, and that it, it can actually promote their recovery and stuff. If it's good for the heart, it's good for the brain. Well, what's better for the heart than art? I had my stroke July 1st, 2013. So it was the fourth anniversary of Jacques recovering from his stroke day. Woo! Isn't that cool? An artist whose work is showcased is Helen Anderson. After having a stroke that affected her mobility and speech, Helen had to relearn how to express herself with her left hand. Her husband, Jack Cito, says that painting and illustrating has helped both Helen and himself. In the early days, I thought that uh, after the stroke, um, is Helen gonna still be the same? I didn't know, nobody knew. And then as she got better slowly, uh, with her artwork, wow, you know, uh, she's still there. Artwork, it gives you self-expression. It makes that person tell a story that I can still do it. I'm creating beautiful pictures, not only for myself, but for everyone else to enjoy. Jacques agrees and says that's a message that is heard loud and clear. The genius in people, right? Everyday people. A lot of these people are not like famous artists, but when you see the quality of the work at something like Art After Stroke, it really lets you realize how valuable and wonderful everyone is and how amazing life is. <laughs> Jacques is a natural born MC and performer, that's for sure. He seems to be bursting with creative ideas. Definitely. The Vancouver team also mentioned how warm and positive Helen is, and that comes out in her paintings. Could you imagine learning how to draw and paint using your less dominant hand? It would definitely take a lot of patience. I rarely use my left hand for anything, so I envy anybody who's ambidextrous. Well, both Jacques and Helen are very talented, and Art After Stroke has made a positive difference in both their lives. For more info about Art After Stroke and other events involving stroke survivors, check out strokerecoverybc.ca.